everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is Lily and I do mainly fashion related videos today's video I decided to share with you guys my spring summer wardrobe wish list this will include clothing items and accessories most of the items on this wish list are designer items but I do have quite a few high street items as well and just a quick disclaimer i will not be buying all of the items on this wish list and also this is not a wish list that is just for this year and this spring summer period it's just a wish list that i currently have and of course i'm not going to be buying these pieces overnight i will be buying them for years and years ahead and this wish list for sure will be changing at some point whenever I add an item into my wish list especially if it's a designer item I want to think about it for a very long period of time before buying it and sometimes I decide that I actually don't need this item and I don't want it as much as I thought in the beginning and I just remove it from my wish list. The first thing on my wish list is this totem uh, trench coat that I have been seeing a lot on other people on Instagram and I have watched some review videos uh, on this trench coat on YouTube and I do really like it but I also do really like this particular Burberry trench coat. I feel like it's a little bit more of a classic piece in comparison to the totem one but um, I'm just like a little bit torn between these two trench coats. I don't think I'm gonna be buying either of them this year. Maybe in the future, maybe in a few years time, I will end up buying uh, the Burberry one because it's, as I said, a little bit more of a classic uh, trench coat. Uh, I do really like the Totem one as well though. So yeah, I'm a bit unsure. I'm just gonna show you one of the trench coats that I currently have from Mango that in my opinion is uh, quite similar when it comes to the overall structure and overall design uh, to the Burberry one. So you can see this is it. It's a little bit uh, wrinkled. So I'm going to show you some additional photos of this trench coat. So I would say that uh, the overall design is quite similar um, to the Burberry trench. I have another mango trench coat but um, the design is a bit different on that one. And uh, I have been wearing this. Um, I have been wearing this a bit more recently. And as you can see, it's uh, with a green undertone, so it's more of a khaki color. Whereas my other mango trench coat is the more uh, classic beige color. And the Burberry one that I have been looking at is also in more of that uh, classic beige color. But I have been wearing this khaki one a lot recently and it's very easy to style as well. So next on my wish list, I have the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour bag either in the nano size or in the baby size. I'm really not sure whether I need the bigger one. I just have to think about it a little bit more. If I were to buy it, it would be for sure in a black color. I'm not sure yet whether I want the Croc Effect leather. I know it's definitely a bit more uh, durable, which is... Uh, a plus obviously and also already have a black uh, croc effect uh, leather bag by Saint Laurent and um, I really like that one it's extremely durable so that's why I'm not sure whether I should go for the same leather or if I should try out just a normal one this is the one that I currently have I think it's called the uh, mini toy shopping bag and I am really pleased with this bag I have been wearing it a ton ever since I bought it it's definitely one of my favorite bags in my collection it's extremely easy to style it goes with pretty much everything in my closet and it's very easy to carry around with the crossbody strap now let's move on to something that is just from the high street and I am talking about the top that I'm wearing currently, this grey one. I have been looking for quite some time an alternative for my long sleeve sweetheart neckline tops from H&M and I finally found them in H&M again. It's very surprising, I'm so so happy with the quality of uh, the long sleeve uh, tops that I have, I have been wearing them all the time throughout fall and winter and they're definitely my favorite tops but um, they are a little bit too thick especially for summer of course so i really wanted to find an alternative and uh, i did find this gray one i also bought the same one in black and in an ecru color as well the white ecru one is currently in the wash so i have the black one on a hanger next to me 
and they're just absolutely perfect i really like the neckline i love the design and they're extremely comfortable they feel so nice on the skin they're not restricting they're just perfect i also have this top in a green color but i don't personally wear a lot of bright colors so i know that i wouldn't get a lot of wear out of that one but um i'm gonna show you that one on the screen as well and of course i'm gonna leave uh, links to everything that i'm currently talking about so this is basically something that i had on my wish list now i did find the perfect tank tops for this summer so i'm really happy about that and before we move on to the next item i just wanted to mention that my favorite uh striped cropped um uh, tank tops are also from h&m which is a very very surprising they just have such an amazing selection of basics and as you can see i have a lot of these i have a lot of them because i wear them all the time a lot of the times they're in the wash so i did buy quite a few of them as you can tell i have the white one on the scanner as well and i also have uh, the same tank top in black if you are like me and you wear uh, pretty much high-waisted um, trousers or jeans all the time these uh, cropped uh, tank tops are perfect. They're not too cropped. They're just the absolute perfect length in my opinion. Next, we're moving on to this uh, Prada cropped uh, denim jacket. I have been looking at it for a few months uh, ever since it came out. I think it was a new arrival maybe from two months ago. And I really do like it. I like the fact that it's uh, a cropped denim jacket and i think i would personally get a lot of wear out of it i do have already a denim jacket that i really like i wear it a lot especially when it's a bit colder in spring i really like layering my denim jacket underneath my trench coats and this is one of my favorite combinations and i'm just imagining this uh, Prada uh, denim jacket uh, with a trench coat over it. I would wear it a ton on its own as well. Currently this jacket is sold out. Um, I will think about it a bit more. I might try it in store whenever we go on vacation this summer and see how I like it in real life. Next on my wish list are these Prada ballet flats. I wouldn't say that I wear ballet flats too much. I do have a few. I have a nude pair and a kind of mauve pair but i really like these particular ballet flats there are also quite a few other ballet flats that prada offers but i don't like the other ones as much because they're not as minimal as these at the same time i'm not really sure that they're going to be very comfortable and this is very important uh for me so once again i might try them in store and see how i like them in real life try to walk uh, with them a little bit in uh, the actual store next on my wish list i have striped cardigans in general but uh, i already actually found the uh, two most perfect uh, striped cardigans for me and for my style they're actually just from zara this is the first one it's in an ecru and navy color scheme i have worn this already a ton with my denim maxi skirt for example just with uh, jeans as well with uh, white leg trousers it's so versatile and it's good because you can unbutton them and that's always the ideal for uh, spring and summer because you can't really wear your uh, striped sweaters or at least mine are way too thick uh, so i either wear striped cardigans like this one in spring summer or my um striped t-shirt or um long sleeve shirt that is uh you know uh, just a 100% cotton one but it's not too thick so it's good for spring and this is the other one that i have this is in a uh, navy and white color scheme and i once again really like the fact that the buttons are gold i really prefer gold hardware in general because all of the jewelry that i wear on daily basis is uh, solid gold um, solid yellow gold these type of details are quite important to me i don't mind mixing hardware and white gold and yellow gold too much but um i do honestly prefer um, just in general the gold hardware next on my wish list i have the saint malone cassandra sandals i feel like at some point i would like to add a designer pair of sandals into my collection i feel like these particular ones are going to be quite comfortable because they're not too high 
and I like the overall very simple design. Those are currently on my wish list, and I also have another pair of heels on my wish list, and those are the Dior Slim Bag heels. I really like the mesh details. I'm not sure whether I want these in the beige color or in black. This is something that I have to think a little bit more about, but honestly, the beige ones are very, very beautiful. And maybe if I were to buy uh, this particular pair of heels, I would go for the beige ones. Let's just go through all of the shoes that I have on my wish list. So next on my wish list are the Saint Laurent and the sneakers, and I really like once again the very minimal design. I am very torn between the white ones and the black ones. I really like both of them and I think once again I want to try them in store and uh, see how I like them in real life. I think from the shoes that I'm currently talking about, these are the shoes that I'm going to buy first because they're just going to be an everyday type of shoe very easy to style. I can wear them even at nighttime. I honestly wear uh, sneakers um, dressed up at nighttime as well. So those are definitely one of my top uh, priority items, I guess, from this wish list. I feel like I already have a lot of beige and white sneakers. Maybe the best decision would be for me to buy the black ones as they are going to be very versatile as well. I can wear them with pretty much all of my outfits and um, yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards the black ones for the moment. The other sneakers that I had for this spring and summer on my wish list were the Adidas or Adidas Sambas and I already bought those, you may have seen them already in a video but I will show you just uh, some videos and reels with uh, those particular uh, sneakers. I'm really happy with them, they're extremely comfy, I wear them a lot, they're very easy to style, I don't have any complaints, the only thing is that they're quite hard to buy. I have one last pair of shoes on my wish list, and uh, those are the Saint Laurent Penny Loafers. I think that these particular loafers are probably the most timeless loafers ever, I don't think that these are gonna go out of style like ever, whereas some other loafers are not so timeless. I have been looking through different Prada loafers as well, but I can't seem to find the perfect pair for me personally, so for the moment I think that these Saint Laurent ones are my favorite and I definitely want to see them in store. I will definitely try them on and see how I like them with uh, let's say white leg trousers because I am very curious to see how they look with um, the thing that I wear the most which are obviously white leg trousers as I said. Another item that I have already bought uh, from my wish list is the Loewe basket bag. I bought this a few months ago and I'm very happy with it. I did buy it with the intention of wearing it mainly in spring summer, but I do feel like I can wear it easily into fall as well. If you do follow me on Instagram or if you have watched any of my previous videos, you have probably already seen this bag. I did make a separate video for this bag as well, so I will leave that video in the description below. Last thing that I have on my wish list are the Simon Mika sunglasses. I really like them because they're not too oversized and I really like the overall design. I've been also looking at uh, different other uh, models from Saint Laurent. I really do like the Kate ones and I have a few other favorite ones from Saint Laurent. I feel like the Mika ones are a little bit more minimal and I'm a little bit torn between uh, the brown ones which are kind of like towards the shell. I feel like just by looking at the photos. I also like the black ones, but I do need to keep in mind that I have a lot of black sunglasses. The newest ones that I have added into my collection are the Celine Triumph uh, sunglasses, and I wear those a ton. You have probably already seen these a lot. This is how they look like in the front and then from the side. This is all for this video guys. I think that I have went through most of the things that I have on my wish list. As I said, this wish list constantly changes. I add items, I remove items. I just uh, take my time to think about uh, each item and if I can, I go in store, try them out. I actually don't have a lot of the stores uh, in my countries. So my favorite online shop for designer items is my Teresa. They always have what I'm looking for. They have an amazing selection. So 
I would definitely recommend my Teresa for any of your luxury purchases. If you do have any recommendations for future videos, I would love for you guys to leave them in the comments below. If you do enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you once again for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye!